Hello, Jennifer here. Uh, I am making a video today for my design team on Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. Uh, the girls and I put this kit together and it is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, we used a kit from Anna Griffin. She is one lovely designer. Uh, I love the colors that she uses. Um, and I think this is the first time I've ever used anything from her. So it was nice to see that we put a, a kit together using some of her items um, so I can get an idea on what her paper is like. And um, But here is one of my design team projects. Um, I had some wooden boxes. Uh, they were uh, raw in color. Um, well, they were just regular old wooden boxes. What I did is I uh, used the Tim Holtz Distress Stain and Peeled Paint and I painted the top of it, the sides, um, and anywhere to where I thought that the paper wouldn't cover. And I did that with all edges. I also used on the edges of the paper, I used the uh, Distress Ink and Old Paper. And again, that's from Tim Holtz. I used a Studio 490 art stencil in honeycomb and all of these items you can purchase at the boutique. Use that. I also used the pearl strips. These are really really nice. Um, I like how small they are. You can use it just for the littlest list areas on your project and then I also used some die cuts that came in the kit um, the enamel dots which I uh, sent Edith I made a bunch of these I sent to Edith so these were also included in your kit um, there were some charms that were included this piece here um, came from another kit that we offered in the boutique at one time and I just I seen it the colors were right I twisted it into a little bow and uh, placed it on there um, here are some flowers that came from my stash uh, let's see if I can tip it a little bit those little sorry if I'm not <laughs> here's where I put the little uh, little strips um, here is some of the uh, the lace that we'd got in the kit but as you can see I put use the stencil um, I just use some fabric castell whipped spackle and uh, the distress stain kind of mixed in with the the spackle and gave it kind of a, a green hue which worked out really really nice because that's that I loved it um, here you can see on little areas I used the whipped spackle and the honeycomb stencil but it turned out really really cute um, my room my scrapbooking room um, the color scheme is a a pink. Um, there's a light blue, a white, and kind of a a champagne color. Uh, my carpet is pink, but it's I like girly colors, and this kit really really brought out that. Um, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, Let's see. Oh, and when you you there's a little sparkle to everything. Um, 
I use this uh, Bow Bunny glitter paste. I am so glad I purchased this. It is wonderful. Just wonderful. Um, I was a little hesitant at first, but once I started using it, oh, it's it dries fast. The glitter payoff on it is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, I give props to Bow Bunny because I love glitter. I have gobs of glitter but now that you've got your glitter in a paste form wonderful just wonderful um bow bunny does come out with some different colors and the other color i'd gotten was the caribbean color and i can't wait to use this but the color payoff on this is just beautiful too but yeah if you get a chance go into the boutique and purchase if anything, purchase the sugar glitter paste. Um, you'll be able to use this on so many projects. But there is design team project number one. And I'll kind of... And again, sorry, it's so gloomy here today. I've been so behind on making different projects and stuff and making my videos and of course when I go to make videos it's gloomy and dark out. But there is my project for this month. And it turned out really really cute. The papers that we had chosen are just beautiful. Just beautiful. There's a look at it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Uh, stay tuned for the next month's kit. If you liked, liked this one, you are going to absolutely love next month's kit. Um, the team has outdone themselves on picking, coordinating colors and working with the different seasons and it's just I am so proud of proud of the girls that I work with at the boutique because they've they've helped me and helped Edith and helped the other design team members and and uh, admissions admins um, we've worked all together and and uh, coming up with some really really beautiful beautiful kits and if there is something that you'd like to see in the near future in the boutique. Just let us know. Gosh, we are more than happy to help you find something. If you are having a hard time finding something, um, just let us know. We can. We have some unbelievable girls that are always on the lookout for the for the new stuff and even the old stuff too. Um, but yeah. So that is my project for this month. Um, I will be having one more project. I don't know quite what it is yet, uh, but you'll just have to keep an eye out for the next video. Have a great day. Bye.